Good afternoon, everyone. I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive. I'm joined uh, by Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins, uh, Chairman of the Westchester County Board of Legislators Ben Boykin, and uh, Legislators Catherine Parker, Majority Leader, David Tubiolo, Nancy Barr, uh, Gordon Burroughs, all with us, uh, and we may be joined by other county legislators. This is a, a special day. It's the first time in over a decade that Playland can boast a new ride. And uh, we're standing right in front of this as the ride is being installed. Uh, it is manufactured by Zamperla, an Italian-based uh, amusement ride company. And we're going to hear in a few seconds from uh, the manufacturing representative, uh, outside engineer uh, Jay Chrysler, who will talk a little bit about the ride itself. But the ride that's behind us here is, is called by the manufacturer Disco 24. Uh, but it's going to be called something else once the people of Westchester, the kids of Westchester, have their say. Now this ride uh, developed by Zamp Pearl has a reputation of being one from the very best of the best when it comes to amusement park rides. And we're very happy to have this. We expect it to open before the end uh, of the month of July. But we're going to go through a host of different tests. We're going to make sure the New York State uh, Department of Labor comes down to check the ride and verifies it before we start it. And uh, that official name of the ride is yet to be determined. And that is because we're going to be asking the public to email all different name ideas to our offices, communications at westchestergov.com between now and July 1st. We'll give you that information in writing so that you can uh, reproduce it as appropriately. All submissions will be accepted and reviewed and then out of that list there'll be a smaller list that will be called out and we have a Westchester County camp group kids that will select the winning name from a group of uh, choices and that will be the name of the ride as it is uh, present here. The ride arrived in three separate shipping containers from Italy and as you can see it's being assembled in the park. Uh, the opening date is not fixed at this point. We anticipate it'll be ready to, uh, to go sometime in the month of July and then certainly we're going to have a, uh, an announcement when the ride is officially open. Zamperla is constructing the ride with several workers and with assistance from Playland staff. The construction consists of a crane to lift and securely place the ride pieces. The ride is secured to a new concrete pad. A queue line and handicapped accessible ramp will also be added. Further, Zamperla will train the Playland staff on maintaining and operating the ride. As I mentioned, the ride is going to be inspected by New York State Department of Labor when we're ready to go. And once it has a permit, uh, it will uh, be in operation and then it will be inspected daily and open for all riders. If there's any problem on any daily inspection, the ride will be closed for the day or for whatever length of time it takes to uh, properly correct whatever the, uh, the item is. The ride is designed with a back restraint which, le which leaves both arms and legs free to move as riders are spun around and travel across the half pipe, the U-shaped track. The ride is part of a roller coaster and part of a spinning ride. And any of you who are my age or older and uh, want to try it, don't plan on having lunch beforehand <laughs> and make sure you're ready for the physical uh, exertion. On the other hand, we have a group of summertime interns in both the legislature and the executive branch. They're going to be mandated to take this <laughs> ride without any question. So I'd like to have our Deputy Parks Commissioner, Peter Tartaglia, to come to the microphone, talk a little bit about how this fits into the overall Playland efforts. You know that we've made an aggressive effort this year to revivify this park. And uh, after Peter speaks, then we're going to ask uh, for uh, the representative, Jay Chrysler from Zamperla, to talk a little bit about the engineering of the ride. But first, Peter Tartaglia. Thank you, and thank you for all coming today. It is really very an exciting, it's a very exciting day for Playland. Um, as the county executive said, it's been over a decade, it's been 11 years since we've introduced a new ride to Playland. So this is sort of the crowning jewel of a lot of things that we're trying to do this season. Um, and everybody who is here uh, deserves a, a large gratitude and thanks for their help. We've, uh, we've added a ton of entertainment this year. Uh, we've reinvigorated and gave a facelift to Coaster Our Dragon. Uh, we have a new laser show for the public. We are uh, going to be introducing art on the boardwalk soon. Uh, we are now going to finally introduce the first new ride in 11 years. So it's a wonderful day. Uh, we don't do this alone. With, of course, with all the other departments, uh, we have the Parks Department and the people on the ground at Playland who work tirelessly to work on these sorts of things. This is a big construction site. 
it may look like it's all done. There's a lot that has to get done and has gotten done. So I'd like to thank Frank Carreri, who's our general manager, and Marty Stonehouse, who's worked tirelessly here uh, day and night, uh, bringing concrete trucks in and getting the pieces in while we're trying to operate the park. So we do it off hours, but it's working out wonderfully. So we can't do this alone, and we obviously couldn't do this alone without a partner. And after a RFP process, we came to the conclusion that Zamperla Rides was the partner to go into contract with for a ride. They have sat down with us, they have worked with us from step one to get this ride in here. Uh, not an easy task to get a ride during the season, but we're actually doing it and we owe a great attitude, gratitude to them working with us as well to make Playland a better place for everybody who visits here. I hope George doesn't mind me using his line, but it is the People's Park, so we're very excited about all of this. I hope you're okay with using that. Um, so thank you again. Uh, at this point, uh, I would like to introduce a representative who is here from Zamperla Rides today. It is Jay Chrysler. He is their engineer. Um, he's been on site, off site. We've been on the phone a hundred times uh, to get this done. Just to speak a little bit about the ride and the process and, and Zamperla. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Uh, first thing I want to say is that Playland's been exceptional to work with. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, the other thing is uh, when I came to work this morning, I wasn't expecting to be at a press conference. So uh, I'd just like to let the ride speak for itself. If there's any questions, I can take them. But other than that, I'll just let the ride speak for itself. So thanks. Thank you, Jenny. Before we open it up to any questions, um, earlier this week we had a press conference over in Elmsford where we announced the reestablishment of the Community Development Block Grant Program. In the next couple of weeks you're going to see us uh, meet over at Sprain Ridge Pool for the announcement about what's happening at that pool and uh, that complex and what's going to happen with the pools there. Uh, we've uh, sent out an announcement about the uh, reconstruction of the Miller House and we'll have a grand opening of that a little bit later in the year but there's progress being made there. Uh, within the case of a few weeks, we'll be uh, delivering an affordable housing study, needs study, which has been long talked about, which is ready to go. And an issue after issue after issue, uh, we're trying very hard to deliver on the things that we talked about and have promised, and the revivification of Playland is one of those issues. There's a series of issues that relate to governance here. Those are before court, so we're not going to address any of those issues. But any of the issues about operations, we're happy to talk about those things, what we're trying to do in this year. We have responsibility legally to run the park this year and to make it as successful as possible. I don't have memorized the attendance statistics for uh, the current week, but going back over a week ago to the weekend prior, we have had 85,000 visitors to this park, where last year we had 58,000 visitors. The year before that, in the same time frame, 67,000 visitors. And if you go back to 2015 and 2016, where the park opened a week earlier than it did this year, we have numbers that exceed the proportionate time frames. So we are having the best attendance so far over what we've had over the last five years, which I think is a statement about our efforts. And our efforts are not, you know, full complete marketing plan by any means. We're using what resources are at our fingertip to try to energize this. We've had good weather that works to our advantage. We've had bad weather in years that work to our disadvantage. So as goes with anybody, if we have good luck, we'll take it. But the bottom line is, in every one of these areas, we're working very hard and we're moving forward. The Board of Legislators that are represented here are part of all these decisions. Every one of these different things comes before the Board. Not every member of the Board agrees with every one of these things, and that's fine. That's democracy. But the bottom line is, as a government, we're trying to move forward on every one of these issues. For today's purposes, we have a new ride at Playland coming, and we hope you'll be back when it's opened. And uh, if you have that intestinal fortitude, we hope you get on it. And as Jay said, the ride will speak for itself. So let me open it up to the press. Any questions for myself or any of us up here that you'd like to ask us as a group? When we're finished, you're welcome to interview anybody individually if you'd like. So any questions? Yes. Peter? Well, we're in what's called a license agreement um, where Zamperla actually owns the ride and we are licensing it for a five-year period. Uh, through that, we will split. We are operating the ride. They are, they're, putting, they're putting it together, obviously, uh, or assembling it, but we're operating it and it is a 50-50 a revenue split. We have some costs first to pay back from the construction under the ground, which would be the, the uh, concrete pad. Jay, could you break down some of the specs? How many, how fast it goes, anything like that, do you know? 
yeah, I'll start off with the. There's. Uh, thanks. So it's it's uh, the production name is called Disco 24, and the 24 comes because it's a 24 seating ride. Um, the cycle time is uh, variable, so the hourly capacity is uh, variable. Um, what the ride does is it does uh, the half pipe, so the gondola will spin in one direction, do the half pipe motion, and then halfway through the cycle, a reverse direction, go the other way, and then park. So. <laughs> It, the cycle time's uh, variable, but two to three minutes is the average cycle time. Probably when you're in the middle of the ride, it seems like it's forever. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long time when you're on that ride. But you can always get on again. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. It's C R I S L E R. Pardon? No, J A Y. J Chrysler. It looks like Chrysler, but I say Chrysler. So, all right. Any other questions? Soon. <laughs> I think Matt Richter brought his uh, his bike here. We're gonna make that the next ride. <laughs> Any other questions, Dennis? Uh, and who are you reporting for? I'm reporting uh, for the Board of Legislators. Uh, but, but I do have a question. Tell us about the uh, the new town days. Uh, when they're starting and, and how how that's gonna happen. Well, we've got a number of different uh, promotions to try to attract people in. Catherine Chaffee has served as the uh, functional marketing director for the park over the last month. And we've established town days with certain discounted benefits. Uh, I'm not sure which day it starts with and which towns it is, but every one of the municipalities of Westchester County will have a day designated for them. So there will be an Ardsley Day, a Larchmont Day, a uh, Mount Kisco Day, and uh, some of the activities that will spin around in the park may also be community specific as different community groups from that community come out and put out displays and things of that nature to try to encourage people from all corners of the county to come. We know from our uh, attendance data that the larger the community in Westchester County, the greater the attendance we get. I mean, Yonkers is a community and so is North Salem and one of them is 200,000 people and the other one is, you know, 8,000 or 4,000 people. But we think that there are people in corners of the county that have to rediscover Playland and so we think the Town Days is a good way to do it. Uh, when does it start, Catherine, first uh, Town Day? <coughs> Next Tuesday, yes. Okay. A to Z. Okay, thanks. By the way, just for park attendance statistics, let's see how good I was. 85,000 year to date through uh, the June 9th, so we're missing in this report uh, last weekend. 58,000 last year, 67,000 the year before, 76,000 in 16, with an additional week added in, and then the equivalent of the year prior, 83,000. Uh, competitive number for a similar period of time. So thank you for those. And if anybody wants more detailed uh, attendance statistics, we'll be happy to provide it to you through Catherine Chaffee. Any other questions on the ride? Do we have a rough launch date for the ride? Well, it's generally uh, expected to be here uh, in the month of July. I don't know how much longer uh, Jay and the team expects for it to be put together before they start a testing process. Um, once you feel the ride is fully put together, how long a period usually does it take until you're comfortable to have the inspectors come in and look? Uh, all right, Sam. Yeah, that, that's a loaded question. Um, we'll probably start testing, uh, you know, initial testing next week. And then uh, once we get comfortable with everything, then we'll start training the staff. So first you have to train the maintenance staff and then the operations staff. So I would say sometime in July is reasonable. So you have to assume that you're at least two weeks minimum uh, before we open it up, assuming everything goes well. But uh, trust me, we're going to let you know in technicolor when this ride is ready to open. That's going to be an important statement for us to make. By the way, I should also point out, in addition to the town days, uh, there's a, a series of um, different groups that are going to be coming in. We have a, a larger schedule of music programs. Uh, if you want just one, uh, for those of us who are baby aging baby boomers, uh, on Friday night, the 28th of this month, uh, there's a Bruce Springsteen um, a tribute band called Tramps Like Us that will be playing here on the main stage and other bands like that. Brandon the Alexanders are coming and, and a few others. So there's going to be a lot of stuff happening down here and uh, we hope you follow it. We hope you come down and uh, be a part of it. There's a whole new energy here and I think you'll see it over the course of the summer. If there are no other questions, thank you.